Temperature is not the only variable that affects enzyme action. There is also pH. The objective of this video is to understand how pH affects the activity of enzymes. pH is a measure of hydrogen ion concentration, and the formula used to determine the pH is pH equals minus log concentration of H3O+. So the concentration of hydrogen ion, it is the negative logarithm of it. This is the pH. Inside our bodies, every enzyme has a specific optimal pH. And if you change from this optimal pH, whether you go more basic if you increase the pH or more acidic if you decrease the pH, the further away from the optimal pH for every enzyme you go, the efficiency of this enzyme decreases. Look at this graph, for example. We have four different enzymes. Every one of them has an optimal pH. For example, pepsin, which is an enzyme that works in the stomach, the most acidic organ of the digestive system. Logically, it's going to have an optimal acidic pH. So its optimal pH here is 2, which is very acidic. Sucrase has a 4.5 optimal pH. Salivary amylase has a neutral pH. Salivary amylase works in the mouth, and the mouth has a neutral medium. So salivary amylase has an optimal pH of 7, which is neutral. And arginase works at a basic medium with a pH of 10. So these four enzymes work inside the same body, but at different pHs, unlike the effect of temperature. The enzymes in your body have the same optimal temperature because all of your body has the same temperature. As for pH, because we have different organs and compartments in the body, you can have different pHs in different places. The mouth is neutral, the stomach is acidic, the intestines are basic. So enzymes working in these places can have very different optimal pHs from each other. So what does the pH do on a molecular level to enzymes? The pH changes alter the charges of amino acids. There are amino acids with positive and negative charges. And these charges can be changed. So if you have an amino acid with a net positive charge, you change its pH, it might suddenly become neutralized because the pH, as we said, is a measure of hydrogen ions. So in an acidic pH, you have a lot of hydrogen ions. In a basic pH, you have few hydrogen ions. And these ions can neutralize charges of some amino acids. So if you change pHs, you are causing a change in the charge of amino acids. So you are disrupting the ionic bonds that this amino acid is forming. Suddenly, the shape of the active site is changed. The active site is no longer stabilized. And besides that, you can even denature enzymes by changing the pH very drastically from the optimal and you can break the entire tertiary structure of the enzyme. And as we said with temperature, denaturation means losing the enzyme forever. So this is the effect of pH on enzymes.